Hey friends, how's it going? Back for another quick um, Fit With Ease session and we're continuing our discussion on food guilt. So yesterday we talked about why we feel guilty when we eat certain foods. We talked a little bit about the morality of food and why that becomes problematic when it comes to healing our relationship with food, getting more consistent, and having an easy relationship with eating. Now, all of that is well and good. There are some great resources that I linked to in the video. However, a lot of you are asking, what should I do in the moment that I am dealing with a crazy food guilt spiral? And I want to talk you through a couple of techniques that can be super helpful in the moment. Now, caveat, you still need to do the work that I implement in my 3 to one system to use food guilt to improve your relationship with food. But if you're in the moment, if you're spinning, here's what I want you to do. The first thing is I want you to start naming all of the emotions that you're having. And so one of the biggest ways that I see my clients do that successfully is writing it out. Whether you're physically writing on a journal page, on a napkin, or on the notes app in your phone, I don't care, but I want you to get the words out. I want you to get out all the emotions that you're feeling about whatever that food situation is. There's a lot of research around the benefit of physically writing out words, typing out words that isn't necessarily matched when we do a lot of the work internally in our heads. So this is an exercise I want you to physically do, whether again, it's writing it out with a pen and some paper or using the notes app on your phone. Once you have that list, you can start list of reasons, list of comments, all of the emotions that you're feeling. You can dive into those and start to see how honestly irrational and incorrect they are. That is one of my favorite techniques. The other is to create distance between you and whatever food event is making you feel guilty. So that looks like a couple of things. So it looks like distracting yourself from the situation that you're in. So getting out, getting away, getting on the phone with a friend, going for a walk, hanging out with your dog, turning on the TV, doing something to interrupt that brain pattern. And another way that I encourage my clients to do this is to focus on the next eating event that they have in their day. So by focusing on the future, you can take the power away from the food guilt that is keeping you in the past. So instead of focusing on what you ate for lunch that's making you feel like crap, you can focus on what you're going to do for dinner, what you're going to do for your next snack that is going to put you back in your power. My mentor, Joe Coleman, says a lot that you're only one decision away from being back in your power, one action step from being back where you want to be. So when you're spiraling out of control when it comes to food guilt, it's time to figure out what that next step is. So once you've written out all the emotions that you're feeling, you've given yourself a little bit of distance and space from the event that's causing you guilt, come up with that next food event and what you're going to do differently. It's super helpful.